Hello in YouTube land. Armando here with the second part of my review from the True Heroes line from Bandit over here. You see Bandit right there? He's taller than Ray. He's almost as tall as Chewbacca. A little bit less than Chewbacca. He's very big, very nice figure. Well, I paid $9.99 for him, but if you buy one of those, you can get the other one at half off. So $4.99, and I got this guy. Uh, Barracuda. I don't know if you can see him. You can see me in the, in the thing. You can't see the figure. Look, how weird is that? Look, science at work. Uh, holograms, illusions. I guess if I turn the camera this way, the light, and then you can see my hands, and then... Mm. Ah, too dark. Hold on, folks. Let me turn on another light. Bear with me. Technical difficulties. Ah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, ah, let there be light. Okay, now there's light. Okay. Let's see if we can change this. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's pull back. Uh, hey, wait a minute. That bug's still there. Look. It's the bug that crawled in my camera. It's still there. What the hell? How do you get that out? Logitech people. Somebody works for Logitech, please let me know. How do you get the insect out of your camera lens? All right. This guy's a new body sculpt. Kind of looks like a... Kind of like Duke. Got like a, a bit of a mohawk, a faux hawk. It just kind of like a, I don't know, SWAT team. Look at the back of the box here. Removable vest, removable headgear. There's the other guys. There's Bandit, there's Wolf, and there's Shadow. They had Wolf. Look kind of weird. And there was no Shadows. Everybody was buying the Shadows, I guess. Uh, I guess you can't beat it for the price. So, let's check it out. Same procedure. Uh, you need the Box Cutter of Freedom. Right here. See? The Box Cutter of Freedom. And you're gonna cut the, the cellophane right here, the cello tape right here. See, cello tape. Oh, goodbye, cello tape. All right, one more, one more. Cello tape. Oh no. Okay, we cut it. All right, we're gonna take them out of the box. Same procedure. Pull them straight up the top. There he is. Ta da Look at that. Look at the detail. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright. Same procedure as last time. We're gonna snip, snip, snip. So, snip, snip, um, snip, snip, trim that. And pull, 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 something's holding them. Let's see. Alright, what is it? What is it? Ah, rubber band. Okay, okay, he's coming out, he's coming out. Okay, Barracuda's out of the package. Now, to free the helmet, we're just going to rip it a little bit. And it gave way, yes, it gave way, folks. I'm surprised Toys R Us has invested in making a, a store brand of figures that's this cool. I wish I would have put Teflon joints in the hips, though. I think, I think that joint's going to go out. Okay, here's the helmet. Um, well, this has something inside. 81? B1? 1B? 18? I don't know. Okay, we'll set that aside. 
Look, he's got a rubber knife. Oh, it comes out. Look. It's rubber. Extreme rubber. Yeah, Bandit has one. I never pulled it off. All right. Same procedure. The knees turn. Ball joint and knees. They bend. Not as loose in the hips. It's still a little loose. See, it's got a lot of play in there. I think they did that on purpose. Um, right. Look, ball jointed elbows. Yeah, these are really fused at the wrist, so they're not going to turn at the wrist. He's got a wrist computer on this side, kind of like uh, those G.I. Joe's they did not too long ago. The little ones that had the wrist computer. And there's his face. Look at the face. See, he's got like a faux hawk. Kind of weird. Pretty cool. Nice sculpt. All right. Uh, I think we just put the helmet on him. Like that. And then... Uh, we just put the gun in his hand. And you can pick his arms up. Okay, the knife has officially fallen off. And I'm going to put it back. He can bend his knees a little bit, twist the feet, uh, adjust the helmet, make the head move. The vest is squeezable rubber. You can't see because the tripod's too low. I should extend it, but uh, it's okay. Let's see. Pull out the legs on the tripod. There you go. Barracuda. With a cool helmet. Not bad for five bucks. Yeah, you can't beat that. Okay. You see that? For all you 1-6 scale collectors. These are good. Get them. Add them to your collection. You can't beat the price. You can't beat the sculpt. I wish Hasbro would do this with their 12-inch Joes. Just mold everything on. Like everything. Sculpt it really, really nice. And then put all the articulation in. Although make, make the... Put the, you know, the gang hinge joint here. That way they can do the splits. That's all I would put. Make sure they can turn at the waist. Same articulation here. And then put a wrist joint here. And you can still save money. And then the figures will look awesome. Because everything's molded on. You don't have to do anything. Just paint them real cool. And there you go. Hasbro could make these the new G.I. Joes. But I guess they choose not to. All right. There you go. Thumbnail. See that? Barracuda and Bandit. Let's put them in front like this. It looks like a saw gun or something. Without the big clip that goes right here. Should have like a big box clip thing. It is not in the box. It is not included. I guess they figure since it, the box is for three year olds, they're not going to know what the hell. They just see a cool gun. But yeah, this will be a saw gun, but it doesn't have the box thing. Maybe I can make one, put it on there later. All right, folks, leave a comment below so you let me know what you think about these figures. I've never seen them before. 
They are showing up at your local Toys R Us, exclusive to them, made for them in the house brand. And they look pretty cool. You want to see them back to back with uh, Bandit here? Let's see. Or side to side. Like this. Hey, that's worth, uh, what, 15 bucks right there. With tax, $16. Because he was nine ninety nine and then he was four ninety nine, and then you got to add the Texas sales tax because Texas they tax the shit out of you. But that's okay. We need it for the rainy day fund. That's Barracuda, and that's Bandit. All right, folks, go to Toys R Us, find these, pick them up. Right now they're on sale. I think till Labor Day, maybe till Tuesday, maybe till Monday. I don't know. Maybe just tomorrow to Sunday. They're mighty cool. I like them. I think the other two from the collection have the same bodies. They just painted different. New heads. And the vests do come off. I haven't taken the vests off. So when I get my Warthog in with Master Chief, I'll stick him in there. And he'll look like he's part of the UNSC. Or maybe I'll stick him in there. Or maybe I'll stick both of them in there. Who knows? We shall see what happens. Is Armando signing out? And if you like videos like this, hit subscribe, and there'll be more to come. Leave a comment below, and I'll try to get back to you. Eventually, I will. I just have to... Sometimes my phone doesn't work, and I can't answer through my phone. But when I get home, like right now, then I can uh, start answering questions or comments on my other videos. So leave a comment below if you got a question. Or give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Uh, and let me know what you think of these figures. Uh... Toys R Us has a good thing going here. Good price point. Nice figures. You can take them outside, get them dirty, play with them. I just wish they made the hip joints a little bit tougher. And that's about it. I got any complaints. Alright folks, have a good day, good evening, and good luck.